Welcome back to my scalping challenge, day 12. And it's time for a new short position right now. It's Saturday for me. You will watch this on Sunday. And I will short Ethereum once again here. But before I do that, I want to be very clear that what I'm doing here is extremely risky. It's a calculated gambling, so do not copy me, do not try this. Read the disclaimer on the screen and we can continue the challenge. All right, so I will go into a short position on Ethereum uh, right now, 100% and open short, just like that. I'm now in the short position and I will explain exactly why I took this short. The reason is, look at the stock market from earlier this week. This was my insane uh, short I took on Ethereum with this uh, CPI report coming out and the stock market just dumped like crazy. I caught all on that on camera. So if you want to see that action, it was a very interesting trading day. Go back to day 10 and watch that whole video. We have the most action in the end of the video, so watch the entire video. And if you're new, go back to day one and watch it from day one. But again, we had this insane drop on the whole market and then, the market just went straight up here and made another short rally here. And this is where I got wrecked on my Ethereum short again. I closed my first short here. I shorted it again right here. And then I shorted it again up here. And some of you guys also asked me, how come that I stayed in the previous trades without closing when the price went into the wrong direction? For example, I shorted, uh, I don't know exactly where I shorted, but let's say I shorted Ethereum here, for example. Then the price went up and I stayed in the trade and waited for that drop to come. But in this short, I didn't wait. I closed the position. So some of you guys ask me, why did I stay in this trade when the price went into the wrong direction? And why did I cut this loss very fast? And there's a simple reason for that. When I was in this short and this short, it's two completely different scenarios, two completely different trades. When I was in this short, I was very bearish. The CPI report didn't come out yet. I strongly believed that we were about to drop. I said it multiple times in multiple of my videos the previous days that I expect a heavy drop in the market and it could have been wrong but that was my bias at the moment and this time was completely different because we already had a huge drop and I did not expect the price to go up this much uh, so I shorted and then when the price started to go up even further I realized that I could be wrong in this trade and it didn't feed 100% this short did not feed 100% I was not as confident as the previous two shorts that I took on the Ethereum so I was feeling insecure about this short and I regret that I even took this short so therefore, when the price started to move up even just a little bit, I just cut my loss immediately. That was exactly what happened. I mean, all trades are different. And this time I was afraid that I was wrong and I was not willing to hold that trade because it was not one of those trades, you know. And now I just shorted Ethereum again. And again, this is also a completely different short than we had both the here and here and also this short. This is now a completely different short. And you know why? Because look at the stock market, for example. We had this crazy drop, we had a pump and we broke resistance again to the upside and then we got the decline again. And now this is not looking bullish anymore. Could have been like some manipulation move right here, I don't know, but it's a completely different scenario again. And now it's looking very bearish and we also have this room to the downside. We have already broke the support one time. We know now that we can go lower, we can go to these regions, it's very possible. And also looking at Ethereum, we have been going down here so we know that we can go down here and also the price action looking very very bearish we had a small pump here on the one hour time frame and this is where i took my short and i strongly believe that we will crash down again and retest this previous lows so this is a very very promising trade we could go down all the way here eight percent so again it's a risky trade everything i do is very very risky but it's also possible that i could do a 200 percent profit from this trade and i had 684 dollars I think in my account before this trade and if I do a 200% gain on this trade I could turn this to $2,000 so again very very risky trade but also potential to get a very very high reward that's why I take this trade I could get liquidated if I do I will show this liquidation on camera hopefully but I will of course show the liquidation if that happens if I get profits from this trade I will show that as well and yeah let's hope I'm right with this trade it's Saturday today and we will probably not have that much action in the market right now this price action from the stock market is from friday as you can see down here it was from friday uh, the stock market futures are not moving in weekends but i expect the market to go down on monday so i want to be in my short uh, before that happens the us dollar index looks uh, pretty bullish to me so yeah i believe in this trade we had this move like before again 
I said this many, many times, but we are in the descending triangle on Bitcoin and we are at the end of the apex. And what I expect in the end of the apex, whether we go up or down, I expect some manipulation before that happens to shake out everyone because the market wants to shake out everyone. If we go down and people are short, they want to shake out all the shorts first. If we go up and people are long, they want to shake out the longs first. So now I think we had that move. We went down, we got rid of all the long positions and then we went straight up. We got rid of all the short positions. And now I think we want to go down again and do the final breakdown. And now I think the price action will go straight down from this triangle and we will simply uh, test newer lows on Bitcoin and we will test the newer lows on the stock market as well. We have a descending triangle on the stock market as well. This is the support, the old support. We broke it. We had some crazy volatility around this region and now look at this price action guys it's going down again i'm still very bearish for the price action on the whole stock market and the crypto market that's why i took the short it's weekend it would probably not happen during the weekend could happen sunday maybe sunday night to monday could happen but i don't expect it to happen but i will be here updating you guys every day and pray for me pray for this trade guys i'm in the short it will be uh, probably a couple of days in this short position and as you can see i'm trading on bybit this is the best exchange for uh, scalping day trading and swing trading in my opinion if you also want to trade on bybit go to my description down below and click on my affiliate link to create an account but remember guys this is only for experienced traders because trading with leverage is super super risky and again do not copy me what i'm doing is just stupid it could pay off but i also could get liquidated thanks for watching see you tomorrow